Shoot Mountain Goats album. Hi everyone, Anthony Fantano here, the internet's busiest music nerd. 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 I hope y'all are doing well, and I hope your teeth are brushed too. We have to do an album review before that on the needledrop.com, an audio track review of a track from the new Paper Cuts album, and also a new song from Fortet. Oh yeah. Blah, blah, blah. All right. So this is the new Mountain Goats album, All Eternals Deck. In the 90s, singer-songwriter John Darniel started the Mountain Goats by prolifically pumping out esoteric songs using nothing but his voice, a guitar, and a consumer-grade tape recorder. It was lo-fi before lo-fi was even a genre on the blogosphere. It's a golden age that a lot of Mountain Goats fans complain is over, because after one of my favorite Mountain Goats LPs, All Hail West Texas, John decided to take the project in the studio to get a more professional sound. John's music got more ambitious conceptually too, coming out with LPs that had really uh, clear overarching themes like Tallahassee, Get Lonely, The Sunset Tree, and uh, one of his latest where John puts pretty much his religious side on display for all to see the life of the world to come. And so now we have a new Mountain Goats album. And for me, every time the Mountain Goats drop an LP, I'm excited, but yeah, I'm also hesitant because it could be a triumph or a really rocky ride. The thing is, at the Mountain Goats core, things really have not changed. That's not necessarily a bad thing. I like the fact that the Mountain Goats have stuck to the really simple chords and the poetic detailed storytelling. What bugs me is that John has taken the project and is always kind of on the search for different ways to make his old shtick sound new by using different production techniques, different effects, different instrumentation, using different side projects, when to me the Mountain Goats are fine just the way they are without all the bells and whistles. But I'm not going to say that venturing out hasn't led to success, I mean it's led to a lot of tracks that I love, like dance music or maybe Sprout Wings, and most of the songs on this album. Unlike the Mountain Goats' more recent releases, All Eternal's deck does not have a really clear storyline running throughout all the tracks, but still, it's a solid set of songs. And I'm gonna start off with my favorite, which is For Charles Bronson, a track that's about just not being a spring chicken anymore, and kind of coming to terms with that by trying to stay strong, not letting other people see your weakness. Basically a story about accepting your waning relevancy. Although I do love the imagery that John pulls up in this track, like holding the gun straight. It's hilarious and yet inspirational and beautiful at the same time. That track and a few others here to me are like classic mountain goats, just really great stories, simple instrumentation like the Autopsy of Garland or even the ninth track here too. And of course the mountain goats hit upon some new and different sounds here too. Some I question, like the vocal effect on Prowl Great Kane, I really, really hate it. It sounds so digital. It's like John is singing through a PVC pipe. But most of the new sounds here are great and just add some different flavors to the Mountain Goats canon, like the harmonized male backup vocals, almost like barbershop vocals on High Hawk Season. They sound so great. I wonder why the Mountain Goats haven't done this before. A state sale sign rocks really hard. And, and bitterly. And, you know, the Mountain Goats usually aren't this loud in their songs. They have been loud before, but John's passion, his uh, vocal delivery, just matches the volume of the music, so it works. In the Age of Kings, Outer Scorpion Squadron, those tracks have some of the best string arrangements I've ever heard on a Mountain Goats album. They're really getting good at adding instruments in without impeding on the song. And I know I'm making a big deal about all the instrumentation here, but for the most part this thing just has a rock-solid foundation of piano, guitar, bass, drums, nothing too out of the ordinary. There are a few new surprises, some familiar friends, but overall this thing is just a a set of solid songs. I don't know if this is going to please the old fans who hate the change that this project made in the studio, but if you follow John Darnielle over his past several albums, I don't see why you wouldn't follow him here. So, if you like your music simple and your singer-songwriters complex, Mountain Goats. All Eternals deck. This thing is going to squeak into the loved list with a light 8. It's not exactly blowing my mind like it would have if all the songs linked together 
a little more clearly, but the thing is a pocket of loose change is kind of in the same vein as a lot of old, old Mountain Goats albums are, so it's not like this kind of thing is unacceptable. But if you've heard the album, what do you think? Love it? Hate it? Why? What should I review next? And, um, thanks for being awesome. Anthony Fantano, The Mountain Goats, forever.